Hello everyone and welcome to another devotional from International Prayer House Ministries. We are so glad that you've taken the time to join us today even as we look to the Word of God. I want to encourage you from Isaiah 43 from verse 18 and 19. And it says, Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. You know, sometimes we spend so much time looking back, reflecting on past hurts or pains and situations, difficulties, things that we have done or things that have been done to us that you would think that we have a time machine or the ability to go back and change or undo our past. But the Word of God admonishes us to forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. We cannot change the past. But God is the God of yesterday, today, and forever. And I believe that He can take our past and turn it into something beautiful. The Word of God says that He gives us beauty for ashes. It doesn't just say, it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I believe that each day God gives us new opportunities, new blessings. He brings new season into our lives. We just have to be able to perceive it. But if you're holding on to our past, then we will not be able to see it. And that is how we have to trust God. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that he might ask for us. Yes, our past and our situations might be difficult, but we have today and we have tomorrow. And God can do so much with our todays and with our tomorrows. He did not just say that. He says, I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. It doesn't matter what your situation is. God is able to turn it around. He says that he will make a way even where there seems to be no way. I believe that God is doing new things in the lives of his people, new things in our family, new things in our finances, on our workplaces, and in our health, in whatever situation. God is making all things new. He says, behold, that we are new creatures in him. All things are past away. All things are become new. And so today I encourage you to just stand on the word of God and believe him that he will do something new for you today. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise, we give you thanks. We thank you that you are a God of new beginnings, new opportunities, that you're able to give us a future and a hope. And so God, I pray, oh God, that you will bring healing, even as we look at our past, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will not remember the former things, that we will forget the past, oh God, that you will take the ashes of our past and give us beauty for ashes. We thank you for the new season that you are ushering into the lives of your people today. We thank you for the breakthroughs and the way that you're going to walk in our situations and our circumstance and bring about something new. We thank you for our new seasons, oh God. We thank you for all of the new transformation, all of the new opportunities, oh God. I pray that you will empower us as a people to stand on your word and to perceive and receive the new things that you are doing in our lives. We thank you for doing it because you are great and you are mighty and you are more than able and you are God that keeps his promises. And so we bless you today in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for joining us today. Remember, let go of your past. Perceive what God is doing and he will see you through. May God bless you.